How to search for investment condos like the pros. You ever wonder how the pros find those condo investments? They seem to always find better condos, better views, better layouts, better price. They do better RI, all that stuff. Better, better, better. If you want to be a professional investor, you got to be, you got to beat everyone, okay? <laughs> Not physically, but beat them like in your RI. Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Real Estate Asian Mortgage Broker. Today, I'm going to show you how I search for Toronto condo investments and this is how I teach and how I search for my clients when they're looking for condos. Okay, uh, let's, we're going to jump right into it. No introduction today. You know who I am, torontocondosforsale.com. Go on this site right here. Okay, we're going to start with resale investments. Before we do any search, uh, we're going to zoom in an area. So go to menu, go to listings, go to residential search. Oh, residential search. Okay, and you can search by city, neighborhood, address, school, postal code, and MLS. Uh, I'm just going to put uh, Toronto to get a general search, and I'm going to pop that in. Okay, my mouse is a little sticky today. I'm going to search for a condo, and I'm going to make sure I'm only searching for sale and not for rent, and hit the search button. And what I'm going to get, I'm going to get a map here, and the map's going to populate for me with all the properties found within the map boundaries. At the moment, there's 1,458 properties found. Not bad, right? I just need the one. I just want to find a good one that will help me. And, you know, I'm going to focus on downtown King West. And this is happening live. I am not preparing this. I'm just like, just do it. Okay? So I'm zooming down right here. There's King West called the Fashion District in the Google Maps because they used to be the old fashioned district in Toronto. You know, people used to cut rags here and McGregor socks and all that stuff. So on the left, you're gonna get a map and these numbers mean there's four listings in this point and three in this point and six in this point. And on the right, on the right, you're gonna get, you're gonna get results. Okay, I'm going to set my price range between $400,000 Obviously, there's nothing in, in the four. There's probably nothing on the five. I'm just going to put it just to show you. I'm going to search up to $600,000. So I'm, I'm trying to find some nice one bedrooms, okay? Uh, the property type is already condo. And more, the listing status is for sale. And everything else, I'm just going to leave open. It doesn't matter, okay? So here we go. And the system is zooming down for me. And there's 12 properties right now. If you minus here at the bottom, it's going to zoom out. And the system is going to find me 31 properties. Okay, let's start looking. And I'll show you what I do. I'm going to zoom in the hottest one I can find right now. And that's by geographic location. We're going to start right here, King of Bathurst. And you can see 629 King Street West. That's the Thompson, the second Thompson, Thompson Residences. It got 500 square feet for 529.9. Unit 734. And here's another one, 585 thousand dollars 18 days on the market let's start with this one and just i'll run you through and i'll just show you what i do okay so this is the thompson i'm sitting right across from it right now at the coffee shop there you go there's 20 pictures available how do you read this this is the unit number 734 this is the address 629 king street it should say west toronto ontario canada m5v okay the price is 529.9 it's for sale the price has not been changed since this listing been posted it's got a one bed one bath the square footage this is what was reported into the system and it's three days on the market now whatever the agent listing agent for this property reported that's what you're going to see okay and there's a bit of a description and this stuff now i know that you know it really helps to know what you're looking at now i know this building very well i've been in it many times i've been involved in this building since day one so we show you first of all we want to see what this unit is so that's the first picture of the unit right here and you can see now i can tell it doesn't have clear view but it's okay at this price range 529 it's got nice light it's got a nice kitchen on the side and you see that the the top of the room is open which i really like you know i, I have a really hard time investing in units that the kitchen runs across the unit unless it's a very small unit in a very good location i don't like them because you're gonna have to sit looking at your kitchen in this case it's totally fine because i got lots of room here okay so what else we got here we got a little one bedroom here and it's kind of enclosed by glass. It's really a studio with a glass door, whatever you want to call it. And this is a typical unit at the Thompson residences, by the way. Most of these units are kind of looking like this. You're looking at about 450 square feet, more or less. And this unit is asking 529.9. That's, that's a typical asking price for the unit. It's on the seventh floor. Now I can tell you this unit is facing south because I can see the CN Tower. I know the location of the building. Facing south, that means uh, in this case facing east. So the unit itself will face south and it's going to face uh, quote unquote to the back, not the King Street, but to the back. Okay. 
So they'll be towards Stewart Street. So you're looking here at Stewart Street or Wellington. Okay, very nice. I think that that's a decent unit. That's a very decent unit. Okay, very good. Let's look at the pictures. So at first glance, this is a good unit. I like it. I've been in these units. I know what they look like. They look in a very good condition. This is the gym. The gym is on the third floor facing King, facing North. If you walk down, that's above the Starbucks, basically, this gym. And that's it. You can schedule a showing me right here or just ask for more information here. About the property, King West Finest Embodiment of Lifestyle, blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> There's a couple of important things here. There's nine foot ceilings, okay? Like all the, all the adjective and the adverb, just ignore them. But the nine foot ceiling is important. And the other thing is important, of course, if you don't know, then it's got a state of the art gym, which you saw. Dorman concierge, not the same thing. Rooftop, pole bar, laville. There's a limited access to the residence. I believe it's uh, seven to seven, something like that. I gotta check if that's the right one, but nonetheless, you have access to the fancy pool, which they didn't show you here. They should have. Then we're gonna go run back to these photos. See, it's a nice, clean unit. This building has been completed probably about five-ish years ago, maybe a bit more by now. Very popular, you get very good rents here, but you can also live here and really enjoy your life. It's not a giant building, okay? Um, let's look. So the condo, the uh, the estimated mortgage is 1898. Of course, if you want to do, if you want to do a real calculation, go to the condo calculator. Okay, it's free. Put your name, your email. I'm not a robot, and you will get an email to this spreadsheet. You can download this spreadsheet and put the information here yourself. Okay, I'm not going to run it through, but just so you know, it's here. Okay, I've reviewed this in many other, many other sites. Here we're back. <coughs> And I want to see the condo fees are 427 a month, so that's about a buck a foot. That's not the cheapest, but that's what it is these days. And the annual property tax is 23, so about 200 a month. So if I take 427 and 200, let me show you. I'll bring up the calculator, okay? And I got 427. These are my fixed costs, the maintenance costs. Plus, that's about 200 for the tax. I get 627 a month. So $627 a month before mortgage is my carrying cost. The rent on a unit like this will be about $2,000 to $2,200 a month. It was a bit higher a few months ago. It's a little bit lower now. It's going to come a bit higher again once some extra units are absorbed. But there's not a lot on King Street right now. So that's pretty good. That leaves you with about $1,400, $1,500 available for mortgage. That should carry pretty good. And if you want to do all the numbers, run it through here. And you'll do it but today i'm just going to focus on finding the units and kind of showing you how to do a quick estimation for them okay where's that calculator 627 now the system here gave me uh 18 so say 1900 so 2500 a month 25 in a month that's the estimate the system gives me i haven't run it through the calculator but it'll be it'll be pretty similar so i'm just going to round it up to about 2500 a month now obviously if you want to reduce your cost you can reduce it all the way down to 627 which is the maintenance and the property tax those you have to pay but the mortgage you can pay for the unit for cash or if you want to pay more than the regular 20 percent for the unit then the cost of the mortgage will be less and less and less and of course as the mortgage costs less your rri is increasing on the rent okay a very nice unit south facing it's going to get a bunch of sun i think in the in the in the winter maybe not so much the sun is low but in the summer the sun is high so you're probably going to get some nice sun in there they haven't even put, uh, maybe the blinds are rolled. I can't really see from here. Maybe they have rolling blinds. Okay, but very nice unit, very clean. Excellent, excellent residences for one or two people. Could also be a very good, very good uh, residence, a rental. And if you want to, say if you're renting for 2000 your costs are 2500 then that 500 extra, you either pay out of pocket or you basically pay the equivalent of 500 just put it against your capital and then it'll bring down your mortgage rate and that's how you can own it. Now, a unit like this, you know, you want to own for five or 10 years. I'm absolutely sure that within that time, the unit will double in its, in its price and the tenant will pay for basically everything else you didn't put in. So you put, you put the deposit and the closing costs, land transfer tax, you know, there's no, there's no development charges because it's already registered. And that's it, you just let it sit and let someone else pay for it and come back in five or 10 or 20 years, the unit paid for itself and there's your pension. If you can do this three or four times in a row, you're doing really good. <coughs> okay, so that's one. It's pretty good, I like it. Um, let's look at, uh, let's look right here, that's just down the street, that's um, 
111 Bathurst. Okay, so that's at the corner. That was built by the same company, Free Development. The price is slightly higher, 585. Okay, what do we had before? It was 529.9. That was, that was a pretty good price actually for 500 square feet, or 450, I think. Here we got another unit. So the mortgage will be slightly higher. The condo fees are much lower here, and the annual property taxes are much, much lower. Okay, that's that's much, much lower. The unit's probably smaller. Let's take a look at the pictures. Remember, I'm an investor. I'm looking for something to invest. I want to see what I get. So that's the entrance to the building. It's all good. That's fine. Here's the unit itself. Pictures are not that great. Dark rates. Pictures are a little off, but this gives me an idea of what you get here. There's a pillar in the property. Uh, there's the room. It's kind of busy, probably a rental at the moment. It's a decent unit. I, it's hard for me to say how large this unit is, but it, it seems from the picture it's a little smaller. Okay, and also because the condo fees are less, it seemed to me that it's smaller. So if the unit is indeed much smaller, okay, and you can see here we got some property history. So it's been rented for 16, 15, sold for 390, uh, listed for 399, sold for 411. That's really useful info. And then in January 16, it was listed for 530. And now it looks like they upped the price to 585. Will they get it? I don't know. Price increase. So it came on the market at 530, and it had a price increase of $55,000, 10.38%. So we'll see if they get it. If you want information, sell here. We can go uh, um, send it here, and we can go take a look. Let's take it another unit. So this was the seventh floor at 629 King. Now let's stay on the same floor on the seventh floor and just like this unit here, it's asking 110,000 more, 629. So let me take a quick look at this one and see what we get here. So this is probably a slightly larger unit. The annual property tax is about higher. It's got a locker, its own locker. I don't see parking. That's the entrance. Here's the bathroom for the unit and the entrance. You run the length of the unit. This looks like more or less the same unit. I'll have to be inside it to know if it's actually different. But I think it's actually this very, very similar unit to 734. I think this one actually facing north and the other one faces south. However, it's reported as a larger unit and it's been on the market for a long, long time. So as an investor, I gotta ask myself, why is it on the market for so long? Usually it's the price. And uh, from here, you know, if I'm at 629 King, maybe I'll pop in to see it. But obviously, it's not going to be first on my list. Okay. So I'm an investor. I keep looking. I keep looking. I saw something last night that I really liked. Um, before I pop in there, let's just see a few more. So East Liberty, that's Liberty Village. I'm not going to compare Liberty Village to King West. It's just not the same. But I'm going to see if there's anything I can find in Ordnance Street. These are all the new building coming. These are all assignments. So assignments will have a high cash cost and a high closing cost because development charges. I'm going to avoid that for now. I'm just looking for like real cheap units to buy. So here's a nice unit at 608 Richmond, second floor, 201. You see how the kitchen runs all the length of the unit. I'm cautious of these units because it's really hard to sit here not looking at your kitchen unless you don't cook at home. It's got gas cooking, which is really nice, but also means there's an extra bill to pay. Okay, so it's a very nice clean unit. I do, very similar design, similar, similar design to what we've seen at, uh, at the Thompson and 629 King. It's a little darker, it's on the second floor. The Harlow building, somebody cut and paste, low resolution images here. Okay, so what do we got here? Ten and a half exposed concrete, so it's got a high ceiling. Okay, uh, the condo fees are 343. That's pretty good. The tax is probably not assessed yet, but you can assume it's going to be about 200. And you can see it was rented for 2,050 dollars a month, and now it's been flipped for 558. Now I don't know if the tenant's still here because it's been rented uh, over a year and a half ago. So maybe it's vacant. Maybe it's not. The price hasn't changed so far. You can see the price history and the property history. It's very very useful. Um, Right now, that unit for 529 cap, cap really captures my attention the best. Okay, it's the best I've seen so far. Here's a, this is interesting. This is still an assignment. This is the King Blue building, 355, high floor, only four or five, but that's gonna be a small studio. Fabulous studio unit with 47 square foot balcony. That's tiny, but it's enough just to get some fresh air. Moving very soon in March 2020. 
What else we know here? They haven't really entered much else. Maybe there's a floor plan. Okay, so <laughs> that's a lazy agent. Could have done a better job here. It's a very small unit, a very difficult design. You can see it's kind of an inside corner unit. Okay, so careful with this thing. You can see here, and it's if if it's a line, it's it means a northeast, but I can't really tell. 405. You know, it's a it's a hotel room. I I don't like this design. You know, if that kitchen, the long way kitchen, went on the corner here, you can at least maybe have a better bed. Maybe the I don't know. It's such a small unit. 405. If this thing is like 350 square feet, it's uh, it's 12, 1300 a foot. Okay, I'll skip that one. What else? Here's 330 Richmond. There's a bunch of them coming now. Oh, I lost uh, my marker. Let's keep moving here. You can see here how long the unit's been on the market, and that gives you a good good idea. I always like to see someone fresh here. 2603 8 Colburn. 8 Colburn is an interesting building. It's it's been around for a while. So it's a bit older, hotel style luxury. So this was built as units that you can rent out as a hotel room. You can put in the pool. The maintenance are very, very high, 758 a month. I'm not sure why it's so high and the property tax are really low, but that that is concerning. Okay, that is concerning and the price of the unit is high. Why is that? Now, if the unit comes with rental guarantee, that's really nice. And it's a lovely unit, but $758 a month, I'm worried. It's really gorgeous, but but I'm not sure why it'd be so high. Maybe I can put it in a rental pool. Okay, I don't like it. That, that That's all it takes me. That's all it takes me. This is the unit I like the most so far. This is the unit, okay? It's nice, it's clean, the price is right. Now, obviously, I gotta walk in there and check it for myself. I gotta call the listing agent, or if I'm the listing agent, talk to the seller and watch how this is the real price. Maybe they're trying to elicit uh, um, multiple multiples here I don't know let's try this expand function see what happens okay it's a little likely larger okay and you want to do a showing just see the request the showing takes you right here put this here I get an email I'll call you back and you can see there are so many let's try a few more let's try a few more so one more thing to do is when I go to condos.ca, I'm going to put the neighborhood. I, I do search in Toronto condos for sale.com or yossi.searchful.co, but I get, uh, if you go to analytics here, it, sh it shows me the average for King West is about $1,000 a foot. Now, this means this is an old average. You can see here by, based on 974 recent sales. So that's a few years. Uh, but in reality, we're already looking at the last 48 listing netted 1094 a foot so 1100 a foot so a 500 square foot unit should be about 550 560 thousand dollars a 550 square foot unit should be in a 600 the 700 units should be close to 770 780 and you know that the king west property um, the new one that is built down here they're already charging 15 to 1800 a foot so that's what it is Okay, another way to search, you can go to yossi.searchrealty.co, just pop that in, put in Toronto, and you can choose between the whole Toronto. I'm just going to choose C1, which is the downtown west. It's going to pop. So this is the same database. The interface is slightly different. It's, I don't think it shows your history and all that, like the other one does, but I'll just show you how it works. This comes to me the same, so 400,000, and here's 600. Okay, so that's going to show me everything, houses, commercial. I can filter it down. Condo apartment, condo townhouse. Okay, there we go. Zoom back in. And that's the 529. That's the same unit I showed you. And that's, that's the same unit. And if you want, you can just contact me from here. That's totally good. Okay, the information will be identical. Um, I really like the TorontoCondosForSale.com just because I find that interface really cool. And I think uh, the fact that it gives you the history is really good. Like you want to find the history, it's really good. Okay, there's not much in the in the in that range of, of four to six hundred. There's really nothing under five, obviously. That's that studio there, and that's not even King West. But just if you wanted to compare, uh, here's a, that's a studio that used to be the Joker nightclub for those who remember back in the day. That was fun. 
561 square feet per build a floor plan so that's under a thousand a foot on the seventh floor the maintenance is reasonable at 331 a month the taxes are reasonable at 19 just under two bring the calculator again Three three so 1981 divide by 12 that's 165 a month plus the 331 so this is my fixed cost 500 a month so that's very good that's less than less than uh, a buck a foot total carrying cost fixed cost so that's very good so 500 a month that means that anything any rents I get over 500 I can use it for mortgage or if I paid it for cash I don't even need to worry about it but look at this listing there's only two pictures so there's a lazy agent here so many lazy agents nonetheless this is the listing you can see this is a very very similar listing to the one we've seen before 561 square feet one bedroom kitchen leaves a bit of room here so you can stick a little uh, computer table here but it's pretty nice I kind of like it it's actually a very good design this is a classic design only thing if this kitchen was on this back wall it'd be much better like some of these units at fashion house um, but it, it's good it's decent okay so that's a decent unit it's been on the market for a long time so why is it on the market for so long I don't know we have to check um, looks like the price was brought down there's some there's some stuff to ask here price 539 so I will have to call in and ask what happened and why is it doing that I'm not sure but if you can find a unit like that that that's a good consideration okay I'll do a couple more and we're done for today so I, I, I want to avoid Liberty Village Liberty Village is okay but if you want to compare there's 51 East Liberty so that's one of the new buildings as you come in strong it's the first one on your left I believe 525 and that's a 500 some square feet unit the condo fees are reasonable 315 the taxes are reasonable 818 so that's about the same about $500 a month to carry for this unit fixed costs let's take a look at this unit that's decent now you can see this is all this style of kitchen although it's a new building but the bedroom is the same they're slightly the the um, the finishes are maybe like a step below but they're not that bad a kitchen uh, l-shaped kitchen just like Yossi likes so the kitchen is not integrated maybe that's simple or laminate but whatever this kitchen is something I, I can replace it's good enough to cook I like to see all built-in but obviously that adds to the cost of the unit and if you're buying a unit in Liberty Village you this is what you usually get this is what you usually expect it's a, a bit of a it seems a bit of more spacious unit and you can see there's enough room to sit here so that actually a very nice unit now what's the price again 525 you know that's not bad that makes a lot of sense here um, I don't see any floor plans I'm just gonna roll from the back but it seemed very very similar to the one we just looked at at 525 in the history on this unit not much why because it just came on market this building recently came on market it's been on the market for only a week for 525 so if you don't mind Liberty Village and you want a better deal that could be a really good unit because the rent's gonna be similar you may get a hundred bucks less here but if you can pay 60 80 thousand less for the unit you should consider it okay we can, we can run the numbers for you if you want just give me a shout I'll run the numbers for you and I can just email you back the sheet and compare the Thompson unit to the Liberty Village unit to whatever unit you like to compare okay so that was a good one you can see there's a lot of them there's one at one um, 783 Bathurst I saw last night at home let me see if I can uh, locate that unit because I really liked it there it is okay that'll be the last one for today this unit has been posted recently they're looking for offers I believe tomorrow or Wednesday seven days ago no on market 589 the maintenance fees reasonable 376 taxes are slightly higher but not that bad so the carrying cost the fixed carrying cost for this unit would be three seven six do it with me uh, let's do 22 43 divided by 12 that's per month 186 plus 376 562 562.91 so 563 dollars a month 10 foot ceiling that's really nice square footage it's doesn't say exactly but six something let's take a look at the pictures I saw this last night it looks really good I posted it on the urban realty Toronto Facebook too that is a nice unit lots of light 
the same design same design they're all everything is the same he's got enough room for for a bit of a seating area and a dining slash workspace which is really good really nice really really love this it's actually gorgeous you see this is a well-designed unit the the sink is in the center a lot of units you see the sink or the kitchen on the side so that means you can't really cook properly if you like me and you like to cook then you need some space on the right or on the left okay maybe you use a pot maybe you want to prepare something not everything goes in a pot at the same time and the bedroom has a bit of a glass and it's enclosed too so it gives you a bit of privacy that is a very nice unit that is a very very nice unit take a look uh, the smart enough to put the TV on the wall that's good it's got a little balcony it doesn't have the floor to ceiling windows but it's also okay windows not gonna fall off if it's uh, you know some some windows fall off because it gets so cold and dry here the glue that holds windows these are not the condo windows these are the outside windows that glued in commercial style they tend to fall sometimes it's just gonna happen it's just the weather here but overall very very clean unit very nice bath everything is good it's got a bit of a space foyer den here. It's got a cute view. Got a nice view actually. Comic store, trainer. There's a big construction site here. I'm not sure how old these pictures are, but I think this is all construction these days, running across from you. Okay. Does it say the exposure here? I don't see it. There is a huge youth construction site there, so you gotta watch for this. That's why I have to walk into the unit. I can tell you better, but nonetheless, very nice unit. They're probably gonna try and run it for more than 589, but you know, that's more or less reasonable. You can always go to uh, condos.ca, put 783 Bathurst. Oh, what did I just do? Try it again. called B Streets Condo. What a name. Okay, but uh, let's see if we can get some uh, info here in the building itself. Average uh, 9, 925 the last 365 days. So obviously price go up. So this is the same unit here, 589. Here's another one that was just put up. That's expensive. Look at the square footage. Okay, there's a bunch of them for rent. You see they're asking 2300. We'll see if they get it. And you can see past listings. You can just hit the one, one plus den. This got 667, 700 square feet. This got 628. Wow, it sold in three days. That was in October, 602. So they're, they're doing great. So they're doing great. One plus den, let's see if anything here. 580, so much higher. 598, they're doing great. Terminated, sold in 42 days. Okay, so that's pretty good. <coughs> okay, my friend, so TorontoCondensForSale.com menu residence search you can start with toronto or you can start with king west village it doesn't matter it'll take area it'll take postal code it'll take a specific address start drilling down and get information about what you're looking at compare apples to apples i'm not going to compare liberty village to king west it makes no sense but i would compare along the same street i would and that's how you do it this is Yossi Kaplan, my friends. If you want more information, Investor Insider, my newsletter. It comes out once a week-ish. <laughs> and you'll find it. You go to urbanrealtytoronto.com, my main site. It'll come with a pop-up, or you can click the bottom. If you want more information, I put a lot of uh, information about condos for sale, how to buy, how to sell, new construction, everything you need to know, master plan communities. It's all there. Good enough for today. Yossi Kaplan, yossikaplan.com. That newsletter is available from here too. This is my other site, more for investors. You're looking for investor information, understanding how to do investments, do it right here. Lots and lots of information, endless. Okay, that's it for today. Take care.